summer of 63, sir, and Conrad was gone away. Gone to the country town, sir, to sell our first load of hay. We lived in the log house yonder, poor as ever you've seen. Roshan, there was a baby, and I was only 19. Conrad, he took the oxen, but he left Kentucky Bell. How much we thought of Kentuck, I couldn't begin to tell. Came from the bluegrass country, my father gave her to me when I rode north with Conrad, away from the Tennessee. Conrad live in Ohio, a German he is, you know. The house stood in broad cornfields, stretching on row after row. The old folks made me welcome, they were kind as kind could be. But I kept longing and longing for the hills of Tennessee. Oh, for a sight of water, the shadowed slope of a hill, clouds that hang on the summit, a wind that's never still. But the level land went stretching away to meet the sky, never arise from north to south to rest the weary eye. From east to west, no river to shine out under the moon, nothing to make a shadow in the yellow afternoon. Only the breathless sunshine as I looked out all forlorn, only the rustle rustle as I walked among the corn. When I fell sick with pining, we didn't wait any more, but moved away from the cornlands out to this river shore. The Tuscaroras, it's called. Sir, off, there's a hill, you see. And now I've grown to like it, next best to Tennessee. I was at work that morning. Someone came riding like mad, over the bridge and up the road, Farmer Rob's little lad. Bareback he rode. He had no hat. He hardly stopped to say, Morgan's men are coming, but I'll be galloping on this way. I said to warn the neighbors, he isn't a mile behind. He swoops up all the horses, every horse that he can find. Morgan, Morgan the Raider, and Morgan's terrible men with bowie knives and pistols are galloping up the glen. Oh. The lad rode down the valley, and I stood still at the door. The baby laughed and prattled, playing with spoons on the floor. Kentuck was out in the pasture. Conrad, my man, was gone. Near, near, Morgan's men were galloping, galloping on. Sudden, I picked up baby and ran to the pasture bar. Kentuck, I called, Kentucky. She knew me ever so far. I led her down the gully that turns off there to the right and tied her to the bushes. Her head was just out of sight. As I ran back to the log house at once, there came a sound, the ring of hoofs, galloping hoofs, trembling over the ground, coming into the turnpike out from the white women, Glen Morgan, Morgan the Raider, Morgan's terrible men. As near they drew, and nearer my heart beat fast in alarm, but still I stood in the doorway with baby on my arm. They came, they passed. With spur and whip and haste they sped along. Morgan, Morgan the Raider, and his band 600 strong. Weary they looked and jaded, riding through night and through day, pushing on east to the river, many long miles away, to the border strip where Virginia runs up into the west, and for the upper Ohio, before they could stop to rest. On like the wind they hurried, and Morgan rode in advance. Bright were his eyes like live coals, as he gave me a sideways glance. And I was just breathing freely, after my choking pain, when the last one of the troopers suddenly drew his rein. Frightened I was to death, sir, I scarce stared, look in his face as he asked for a drink of water and glanced around the place. I gave him a cup and smiled. T'was only a boy, you see. Faint and worn, with dim blue eyes, and he sailed on to Tennessee. Only sixteen he was, sir, a fond mother's only boy, off and away with Morgan before his life had begun. The damp drops stood on his temples, drawn was a boyish mouth and I thought me of the mother waiting down in the south. Oh, pluck was he to the backbone and clear grit through and through. Boasted and bragged like a trooper, but the big words wouldn't do. The boy was dying, sir, dying, as plain as plain could be, worn out by his ride with Morgan up from the Tennessee. But when I told the laddie that I too was from the south, water came in his dim blue eyes and quivers around his mouth. Do you know the bluegrass country, he wistful began to say, then swayed like a willow sapling and fainted dead away. I had him into the log house and worked and brought him too. I fed him and coaxed him as I thought his mother'd do. 
And when the lad got better and the noise in his head was gone, Morgan's men were miles away, galloping, galloping on. Oh, I must go, he muttered. I must be up and away. Morgan, Morgan is waiting for me. Oh, what will Morgan say? But I heard a sound of tramping and kept him back from the door, the ringing sound of horses' hooves that I have heard before. And on, on came the soldiers, the Michigan cavalry. And fast they rode, and black they looked, galloping rapidly. They had followed hard on Morgan's track. They had followed day and night. But Morgan and Morgan's right raiders, they had never caught a sight. And rich Ohio sat startled through all these summer days. For strange wild men were galloping over her broad highways. Now here, now there, now seen, now gone, now north, now east, now west. Through river valleys and cornland farms, sweeping away her best. A bold ride and a long ride, but they were taken at last. They almost reached the river by galloping hard and fast. But the boys in blue were upon them, ever they gained the ford. And Morgan, Morgan the raider, laid down his terrible sword. Well, I kept the boy till evening kept him against his will. But he was too weak to follow and sat there, pale and still. When it was cool and dusky, dusky you'll wonder to hear me tell. But I stole down to that gully and brought up Kentucky Belle. I kissed the star on her forehead, my pretty gentle laugh but I knew that she'd be happy back in the old blue grass. A suit of clothes on comrades with all the money I had in Kentucky, pretty Kentucky, I gave to worn out lad. I guided him to the southward as well as I knew how. The boy rode off with many thanks and many backward bows. And then the glow it faded, my heart began to swell as down the glen away she went, my lost Kentucky bell. When Conrad came home in the evening, the moon was shining high. Baby and I were both crying, I couldn't tell him why. But a battered suit of gravel gray was hanging on the wall, and a thin old horse with a dropping head stood in the Kentucky stall. Well, he was kind and never once said a hard word to me. He knew I couldn't help it, twas all for the Tennessee. But after the war was over, just think what came to pass, a letter, sir, and two were safe back in the old group of bluegrass. The lad had gone across the border, riding Kentucky Belle. In Kentucky, she was thrilling and fat and hearty. And well, he cared for her. He kept her, nor touched with her whip or spur. Ah, uh, we, we have had many horses, but never a horse like her. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Grandma. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Grandma.